patience, speed. Don't allow him to pick up his timing. Oh, that goes Machado! But with his hand down. Right hand goes down. Once it goes down, never gets back up. And he never saw that left hand. Never saw it. I don't mean to so shillingly stay on brand, but anyone, anytime, anywhere, even yeah. on six days come notice, on, man. they come to fight on Ring City. We are at it up. Let's see if uh, he's able to do it here in the in the third round. Oh, as we, were as we say about that, it, we were just talking about we were that. Just a talking vicious, about it. Straight right to the body. He turned it up. He's just back, back. That lead right hand plants that foot and puts it right on the belly. And look at him walk away like. Another, another day at the office. Wow. wow. And, and typically you get like a delayed reaction, but it must have been like a quick shock. Uh, Plex, let, let's look at, it, let's look at it again. From a like different exactly. angle, maybe. Yeah. It kind of, it, it almost, maybe, maybe. It seems kinda, like in the solo plex, but a little bit to the left clip of it. it. Yeah, clip. yeah, The old cliche, never judge your book by, by its cover. That certainly applies here, because, oh, there you go. Oh. Well, we talked about the possibility, and that left hand fall low and prevent providing a target, and that was an absolute cracking punch. Yeah, he just slips to the left there on that first occasion, then he does it again and whips the right hand over, and yes, he was getting closer um, with, with that shot, because his feet were, were quickening up a little bit. To run into low levels, the, the light is flashing, potentially. Oh, he's hurt him again. He's turned away this time. Oh! Huge right hand, and Maxi Hughes. Here again, now we see if Highland does if if Highland does actually touch the floor. So it's a good body shot. See, he thinks he's going down, and obviously he hasn't yeah, gone down. To be fair, Mark, that's yeah. immediately says box on. Immediately says he touched the floor. So actually, the referee's done nothing wrong. It's 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 a bit of bad misinformation, but he hasn't done nothing wrong. I don't think. It seems really bad. Presenting Victor Kotochikov, just hammered with another counter left hand there. Oh, oh. and follows it up Two. with another one. That's an absolute cracker, and he might well wave this off. Oh, I think that's surely it. Count him out, please. And if anything, and that, that. You watch it now, look how smooth it is. Now, look at that, look, look how smooth that is. And wow. Kotochikov is right square in front of him, which probably helped but again though see sorry with, with again with cully he takes that right foot on the outside so when he throws that jab you're lined up for that long left hand he puts you right in the center of it that's how they stay up from that he's taking four body shots three of them have hurt them two of them have put him on the deck will that open him up for punches elsewhere now he really is ducking into those shots he's trying to protect himself Gwerfi. oh and it's a massive left hook as he was protecting his midriff, it's the left hand, and that might just have punched him. And then you and I can get it on. Well, we'll see if McGregor, I believe McGregor, as you see some of his work, Barry. And well, fine work it was. That's a lovely left hook to the body there. That's the first knockdown there, just, just behind, just underneath the elbow. Oh, get there, get there. It's a little uppercut, just a little touch. A little you touch. Can any better than that, is You can. Well, it, and it's not, he's not, he's not overdoing it. He's, he's digging him in. Look. There's the head shot. That that was the the, the set. There was a right hand, another right hand by Solomon. Maybe the two best punches of the fight from Solomon. Yes. And another oh, crash oh. the head, and he's down. Ah. And he may not make it. Over there. Over there. Oh yeah. That's finished. Right hands. And that little shove with the forearms was key there because he didn't let Howard hold him. And that enabled him to land that right hand. I tell you what, Sugar Hill's going to be happy because he was right on balance with that shot. And look at that. Yeah, stepped in nicely. Perfect. One, two. Nice. It was at the right range. 
uh, that's a, a, allowing him to, to go to work. And oh, that's a huge right hand, a big three, right hand. Three, and it could four, be with two minutes five. body and the rest will follow. Uh, you, you chip away and and eventually gravity will, will take its course. And that's exactly how it was the body shot that, that, that started everything well, I don't and, and set the foundations for, for what followed. I don't think, with the knockdown and with this and with this knockdown, with the knockdown in the previous one, it wasn't one particular punch that they did. When the last fight, they put a bolt like it was Julio Vitrago, nothing more se presentó para que Socarra se viera lindo. Y ahora, bueno, oh, esa pelea oh, de entrenamiento le hace falta. Está se está dando el consejo, cuidado, buena combinación del mexicano. Se está last August and he beat him in five rounds so a little bit of a way to control oh, goodness me well there's a terrific shot in the opening round and that's hurt him is he going to be able to get up I'm not sure he is he's all over the place Jordan Ellis that shot and uh, Ellison caught early on couldn't recover yeah that's a great shot from Chamberlain we'll have to have another look at it but um, yeah that's, that's how you start a contest nice and sharp behind the jab Calfrey's got him against the corner right there. Didn't let him out. I expected Dustin Long to throw something, retaliate, try to counter in between the long arms of Calfrey, but nothing came in return. And I believe it's a body shot. There it is right there. That body shot right there really did all the damage. It wasn't even a head shot. Well, I think the head shot set it up, Sergio. It had that guard high, and the body shot finished him off. And you see Dustin Long. This guy can't hit him. No, he's so far away with every punch. And he gets hit almost every time. Oh, oh a little pickup. I kind of like that. Uh -oh, hey, man, uh -oh, I can pick he, you up uh -oh, if I want. Uh-oh, he's got a hair situation. He's and like, it cost him. Oh! oh! Nighty night. Night, night. And that's why they call him Nighty Night Wade Woodruff. that was it. it well, it's the wrong angle, but you could see his hair there and... Oh, just oh, long. Oh, wow. Time. Here you go. The hair's out. Oh, as Mouth clean. guard went flying out. See right there, the hair. Yeah. And then when he gets the hair out, he's already in the pit. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't even know how the mouth guard went flying in the direction. Yeah, oh. and uh, you can tell right. by, his, by, by <laughs> the red paint all over his chin and nose here. Coming from that busted nose. And hopefully he's not broken, but man, it sure is bleeding. Oh, oh, God. oh that was the one right there. Let's take a look at this replay here. You see, there's that big right hand, and that puts down uh, uh, Contreras and ends the fight there. Yeah, th those were just hard, straight right hands landed by Grachev, man. Look at that one right Beep, on the button. Bang, boom. And that's it for Contreras. We're going to Pablo Flores. Удар. Нет, мне кажется, своим весом на ногу на правую. Да. Вот смотрите. Вот отсюда будет хорошо видно. И сам на свою ногу падает. Это очень, очень опасно. Вот так очень легко повредить огромное количество связок где-то в колене. И, дорогие друзья, ну это что я могу сказать? Жора Мазарян. Да. Правый Павел точно попал и попятился. А надо отметить, Василий достаточно плотно бьет для этой весовой категории. Удар у него хороший. И вот как... Это глухой накал. Весовой категории. Удар у него хороший. И вот как... Это глухой категории. Удар у него хороший. И вот как... Это глухой накал. Monica, that he goes by the taller figure wearing the black trunks who just been hit with a right hand and a combination is wild.
the shortest boxer here at just five feet seven inches tall has made an absolute nonsense of the supposed advantage that comes with height and length. He got inside the reach of the taller man. Sitting down on his punches, snapping back the head of the Filipino, snaps it back again. Rocha looking good on the button, left, right, drops him. in the round he appears to be in pretty bad shape and that is why all of the attention is being given to horse ball immediately an explosive three minutes of boxing which saw